I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Looking around like they see you on the mound, they don't see you on the climb. Right? Me and all of mine in the power line. Look at this and what you find. Right? Hi guys, my name is Josh. I'm with Empowered Electric. I'm the master and founding electrician here. And today I wanna to talk to you about three-way switches. So you've probably seen three-way switches. If you're a commercial electrician, you see them all over the place. But if you're a homeowner, you've seen them at your entryway, in hallways, at stairs. It's when two switches operate a single light source. And every once in a while, you can get a couple things wrong that really make your life miserable. It's called mixing up the travelers. So I wanna to talk to you and kind of show you and unpack that a little bit. I wanna show you how to install them and and just to make sure that you fully understand them. Because while they look similar to single pole light switches, there are some differences. A couple of the differences here are that there's two screws that are the same color, see those two gold? And then there's one uh, screw that is its own color. Now, the single pole switch has a line and a switch leg. That's what these are gonna be. These two gold are the travelers. So how about I just show you guys how to install it? So guys, before I put in the first of two three-way switches, I need to identify a couple things. So as I look at this box, I need to identify the travelers. Now this is easy for me because I pulled the wire. I pulled two number yellow or two yellows um, to, that will land to these two gold screws. They're gonna basically communicate from switch to switch. There's a couple ways you can identify it see how they're twisted together. That's one way. It's two wires that are the same color. There could be a band of tape or anything like that. Also, just easily to note, you need to know if this is a hot or a switch leg. Luckily for me, I pulled the wire so I'm able to know right off the bat, coming over to the box that feeds it, that this black wire is the switch leg. So I identify that because remember the black wire has a little curly cue and it's going to the light fixture. So push that in. So to make this up, it's a lot like a single pole switch, okay? I've already got my ground pigtailed. I'm gonna cut that off because it's a little long. And I'm gonna strip all my wires. And I'm gonna strip them a little longer than what the switch tells me to because I'm not gonna just simply stab it in the back. Remember, whether we talked about installing a receptacle or installing a light switch, we said the best way to do it is to hook these wires, wrap them around the screw, and pinch them. You don't wanna just stab them in the back. So my ground wire is gonna make up to my ground screw. I'm gonna pop that in, pull it around the screw, pinch it tight, and I'm gonna tighten it up uh, with that flat head with this Phillips head. Remember when making up devices, fight the urge to use an impact or a drill. Fight that urge bad. Now, when looking at these screws, the one thing that I didn't mention is you wanna make sure that these two gold wires or these two gold screws are travelers. No three ways per manufacturer are the same. It could be two black wire or two black screws, two gold screws, two silver. The two gold could be on one side. These are both on the bottom on alternating sides. But you wanna open up the box and what you might rip open the box and there'll be directions or there'll be a little piece of paper. Be sure to read the directions. I always read the directions before I'm installing them. I did that before turning this video on. So I've got my, my ground wire landed. Now I'm gonna land my first traveler. Wrap it around the screw, pinch it down, tighten her up. And guys, I know that this takes more time. I know that it's easier to just stab it in the back, but there's a saying, what is it? If you don't have it, time to do it right the first time, you're gonna have to make time to do it a second. Um, you wanna take the time and do, it on, do this on the front end. Twist that around. I've never had box makeup issue. I've never had loose connections. I honestly barely ever have to troubleshoot devices because I make sure to, to wrap the screws to identify. Now remember, this is the switch leg, okay? It's not the hot wire, it's the switch leg, which is the load going that it's controlling, which in this case is a light fixture. Is this is making sense at home. I really wish you guys could talk and this was a live stream and you could let me know how much you appreciate me taking this time to show you this. But now the last step, remember before installing, even if it's at your house, it's just good practice. Wrap some tape around the switch, get it underneath the screw, 
go around, make sure you're covering all the metal terminals. Usually takes about twice, tape it off. Then you accordion style the wire. Don't just shove it back there, kind of bend back and forth like this, like you knew how to dance. I don't know how to dance, you might. But you wanna push it in there, just like that. Remember, you wanna make sure that your switches are level, okay? So you can use a, a little torpedo level like this. A lot of times people say they can use their eyes. That's not true. Boom, perfectly level, there we go. Then we're, we're going to take our cover. Remember what we always talk about covers? Buy the unbreakable. If you do this and they break, don't buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot. Buy the nylon unbreakable kind. Line it up, get that cover plate on. And remember to really look like a pro, you get those screws horizontal, or sorry, vertical, lined up with each other just like so. Make sure there's no dirty fingerprints on. There's no on or off on a three-way because depending on where the other switch is, it could be on or off. So we know this one's not telling us no, no matter what direction. I'm gonna put in the next one now. All right, guys, we got the first three-way installed. Now it's time for the second three-way. Just like the last box, we have two yellows, which are our travelers. We know to identify that as the gold. And it really doesn't matter which side of the gold that these two yellows attach to. What does matter is that we don't mix up one of those with this black screw, which is for our hot wire. The way that we know it's the hot wire is number one, I read the directions. And number two, I looked in this box and I identified what what the power circuit was. So identify the power circuit, it's the black wire. So now it's time to make it up. Exactly like the last one. So last thing is to test the light switch. We energize the circuit, whether that's turning the breaker on or in our case, because it's a mobile wall, plugging it in. But the power has been energized. Now the light's not on, so drum roll, will it turn on? Yes, it turns on and off here. Now double check this location turns on and off here. Now there's a certain occasions where for some reason, one switch has to be in a particular direction or the light doesn't come on. If that's the case, what has happened is you have landed one of your travelers to the hot or switch leg screw. You need to take them both out, you need to read the direction and you need to make sure that your travelers have been pot or uh, accurately identified. Now, if identifying the travelers or installing three-way switches seems to be too difficult for you or above uh, what you feel that you can safely do, please do not hesitate to reach out to a professional in your area. If you're in the Kansas City area, we'd love for you to call Empowered Electric, 816-500-9452. And if you're a professional, we'd love to hear your tips and tricks in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. I got buzz like Eva. Throwback hits like Divas. Keep up, I might leave you. Team way up like Tiba.